Hey folks, in the following tutorial I'm going to quickly explain the difference between categories and tags and where you should use them and why. So basically, categories and tags are great ways for you to create some structure for your blog posts and they allow users to quickly filter three different types of posts uh, related to specific categories and or tags. Now, when would you use categories and when would you use tags? Uh, there's, I think, a little bit of confusion for many people as to uh, what you should do with uh, categories and tags, SEO value of them as well. There isn't really much in terms of SEO value. By adding uh, the categories and tags to your site, they do, however, create a better structure for the users, which makes it easier to navigate. And user experience is obviously an important factor when someone is using your website. So what do you want to and when do you want to use categories? So categories should be your main category for a specific blog post and they should really be used only once. You should use only one category per post. Um, maybe on occasions you'll have two, uh, but I think it makes the most sense to only use one and keep it very specific for that post. So maybe as a uh, wedding photographer, you have engagement sessions, weddings, uh, elopements, etc. Choose the one that is most relevant for the post. Now, where tags are different, they are kind of like micro categories, uh, if that would be the best way to describe them. So with that, it could be, for example, this is a wedding and you may want to add uh, the tags for location, style of wedding uh, and various different things that are related to that wedding. Uh, and again, it gives you more options for filtering uh, through the different types of styles of your work for your users. Again, great for locations and things like that. So that's whenever you should use tags, whenever you want to add more options uh, to give more micro filtering to your users. And we really recommend up to around 10 tags can be used. I think after that it gets a little bit messy. So try to keep it under 10 whenever possible. So that's it folks, it's very, very simple to do. Again, whenever you create the categories and tags, they create their own archive pages. So whenever someone clicks through to one, they will then see all the different posts that are labeled for that specific category and the same for your tags. Also, if you click on the tags, again, you're gonna get these style pages that uh, archives all of the different types of posts. So as I said, it's all about user experience for adding categories and tags. Use them wisely and make it easier for people to find the content they want. So let me quickly show you how to add categories and tags to your blog posts. So first you'll want to head over to your blog posts Go into a specific blog post and then you'll see on the right hand side here that you have options to select categories. If you want to add a new category, you can click add new, add the, add the label for this and then click add new category. And again for tags, if you want to add tags, you can see there's multiple options here. You can remove those by clicking the X and add more tags for that as required. And you can add multiple by adding a comma and then of course hitting add. And that's it, it just lets you add tags and categories to your posts. That's it folks, go ahead, start adding categories and tags to your blog posts.